Hey everybody, it's the program. We're on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. You know, we're living forever, but we're living for ever. Like, what are you living for, ever? What do you live for? I live for this. I'm alive. It's Saturday. This is not right. I think the other numbers are right. I think I didn't change it to 12. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that I changed the numbers and not the, the day. It's the 12th today, right? I believe it's the 12th. I believe that it's Saturday the 12th. And that this is all right. Maybe we'll have to call Freddy the producer and find out if this is right or not. I'm pretty sure though I... Uh, I'm losing track of numbers. A little bit. So many numbers. I gotta move. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new number. Numbers correlate to days. Back and forth. You know, one day... You have a one day, and then you have another day. You One day is is one number. The next day is the number that comes right after that other number. And they happen every day. The numbers, they move forward every day. And somehow it's confusing. And what, what, what numbers are today? It's like, what are today's numbers? You know, if you go to a club, knock on the door. This is knocking. Don't knock on your knees. Healthy knees. Keep your knees healthy. Do not knock them. Knock the door. Um, I am. Um. And the other thing. Hello. What is the password? Let me say. Pickle cabbage. That was yesterday's password. Password changes every day. You look at your thing and you're like, oh no, I have this password chart. This long password chart. And you're gonna wake up in the morning and they call you and they say, this is today's password. Uh, then you know, then you know what day it is, but now I, I don't know. I gotta get a. Uh, well, if I get one of those score counters with the numbers on it, and then how am I going to know what that, that is accurate either? Oh, I, what I really need is just a calendar. Simple calendar. Put it back here on the wall so that it doesn't fall down and I don't lose the calendar. Uh, that's what I, what I should do. So, you know, I can tell, like, myself or somebody to run to the dollar store. So, oh, no, where's the fork? Oh, here it is. Ooh, I got panicked for a minute. <gasps> oh, what am I going to eat more food with? I've had uh, that issue before. I think when Toyota was in the studio in 2016, I had the fork issue. That's one of my... It's a, it's a big memory of mine. I'm like, remember that one time I forgot a fork? It was it was traumatizing. Remember that one time I forgot what day it was and didn't know and needed to go out of calendar and never did anything about it? You know, I'm going to try to... Ugh. Look at this. You've heard stuff really loud. Um, I'm trying to find my, uh, I find a calendar. I had a calendar at one point, but it's definitely in the in the piles. I'm gonna get a new calendar. I don't know if we're gonna get a big calendar. Or a small calendar. Either way, it's gonna get lost. We'll see. It's calendar time, Freddy. <coughs> hmm. I didn't chew that food too well. Let's call Freddy the producer. Mm, grandma tried to call.
That was it, though. Where's Mr. Gintzu? There we go. We're going to call um, Ray the producer. Nothing about days. Say, Freddy, how about days, huh? How about those days? reached Freddy Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy. It's the program. You know, what? I'm confused about days again. What day is it supposed to be today? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be episode uh, 2,093, 2,793 today, but the computer and the tapes are telling me different things, and I don't know what to listen to. Like, listen to the tapes or the computer, they're both different m manifestations of myself, but which one is right? I need, the, we need to get a third non-tape, non-computer uh, system, calendar, some kind of calendar, like some kind of like graphical display that has all the days on it that you can write into. Maybe, maybe on the back of the picture of the, of, maybe on the back of the, of the graphical display we could put a picture so that every time you flip the picture then there's always uh, the graphical display on the other side. I heard you can get calendars every like 15 years or something and use the same calendar again. I wonder if that's right. So then maybe you can start saving calendars, but then you can't write anything on them. My grandma has a pretty expensive calendar. Oh, but for. I'm sure I what she do every day on the calendar. And keep it going. Can you remember what you're doing on those day? It's like maybe we should have a, a calendar that says what we're doing on what day. But I'm trying to build the opposite where I say what I'm going to do in the head of time instead of what I did in the previous time. It's kind of like a really small like three word journal I mean that's all you need I mean, how many things did you do in a day four I mean if you count yeah tell it like going home and as one big thing you can do a lot of things play the games watch the TV do that stuff watch TV get on TV <laughs> you look at that calendar though Maybe your life would become monot more monotonous if we think about it. It's like, oh, oh, oh. The monotony of life, you know, it never, really, never really occurred to me, so I would write it down every day. And I realized that every day is the same. Like, oh, I never realized every day was the same before. I wrote it down. I didn't need to write it down. It's already real to me. Why why write? Why write when you can know? Because I know. This day, next day. I don't have a calendar. 
The Honda's for the future, though. We had a calendar. We actually had a pretty cool calendar. It was like a beer, beer or something. I mean, where could it have ended up? It's gotta be around here somewhere. I wonder if it like fell behind the couch. Ooh, where is this cookie from? Probably still good to eat, right? I found a cookie on the couch. I was looking for the calendar. I happened upon a cookie instead of the calendar. It's a good find though. It's a good thing. Uh, it's Dan Dobler. Ask him about a calendar. Dan Dobler, do you have a calendar? You've reached the voicemail box of someone who has not set up their mailbox yet. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been I'm set sorry. up yet. Please try your call again later. Please. Goodbye. I'm sorry, you have reached number the person who has got not their their voicemail box set up yet. Maybe I should set up his voicemail box when he gets when I uh but For what? Who's gonna set up the voicemail box? Who's gonna leave down voicemails? But it's like, I wonder if Dan's even aware that he can't get voicemails. Maybe somebody wanted it that way. It's hard to know. Dan, what are you doing? Drinking coffee? Out there, probably. Drinking the coffee? Living the life? I believe that's what happened. I'm going to call my grandmother. Grandma and brother. I'll say, hey, did you remember to take your medication today? Hi, right, you've reached Ty's phone. Hello, this is Ty's phone. Leave a name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. <laughs> she'll call back as soon as you can. Doesn't make that much sense. Hello, Grandma. It's Kenny. You there? Uh, it's Saturday today. I'm calling to see how you're doing. You uh, taking vacation today? What are you doing on this Saturday? Maybe you're out there. Uh, maybe you're at Costco. Maybe I'll call Andrew's cell phone next. I don't think you're there. You can call him back, though, if you want to. Today you have about 42 minutes. All right, here we go. Calling Andrew's cell phone. I think it's this one. Hello. Hello. Hi, Penny. Oh, hi, Grandma. How are you? Good. How are you? What are you doing? I'm downtown. I'm. I'm I know you're talking. Huh? I'm downtown. Where are you? Downtown. Where are you? I'm downtown. Downtown. Oh, downtown. TV show, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Where are you? We are the Takuma. You went to Tacoma? Oh, Lakewood. Oh, you went to Lakewood? Lakewood. Uh-huh. What are you doing there? We're going to eat some of noodle. Where? Oh, just on the Lakewood. Uh, Ro Royal Box? Oh, okay. You're going to Paldo World? You're going to Paldo World? 
Yeah. I need. I want a calendar. What? And give me a calendar. Tell, like tell Andrew. Yeah, calendar? Yeah, give me a cheap calendar. Okay. Only three dollars or less. If it's if it's more, then don't buy it. Okay. I'm gonna I might go to the dollar store and buy a calendar, but I, I need a calendar soon, so maybe you should get one too. I'll cover all my bases that way. Why? But why Cosmo World for a calendar? I don't know. I'm just thinking. I need one right now, and you're on the phone. Uh, yeah, if I find a funny cheap one, maybe they have free Chris, Korean Christian ones. Yeah, if they, I'll take that too. Okay. And, oh, uh, oh, oh, um, I want Taz coconut water. Okay. Taz, T-A-S. Is it Korean? It Asian? is Asian. They have it at the Paldo World. It's, uh, here, I got an empty can right here in front of me. It's, it's blue. It says coconut water, and this says agua de coco on it. Pass agua de coco. Coconut water, agua de coco. You're cutting, you're cutting out. It's called tas. Pass agua de coco. Coconut water. Coconut water. There should be a dollar. One, okay. One dollar. Are you coming over tomorrow? Yeah. What did you buy, Grandma? Did you buy anything Surprise. for Grandma? Surprise. Okay. Are you, uh, are you working tomorrow? Yeah. You are? Yeah. When? Early? Uh, at 11. At 11? 11. Are you gonna, you ride the bus? Mm-hmm. You work downtown, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe we should go to the, uh, does Grandma want to go to the, the, the Harbor Days or whatever's happening over there? I don't know. Ask her. Is it the farmer's market? No, like, there's like a, at the, at the Harbor, they're doing the thing with the tents and the food. Just take her, just take her there. Yeah, but maybe you can go and then you could get a ride down here and then I can just meet you down here. Oh, oh, I'm probably going to go to Mom's or something. When? What? At 11? No, after work. Oh, you know, yeah, but then she can go to the, Grandma can go to the, maybe Mom can go to this festival, too. We can take them both. I don't, uh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Even though, I don't know, they, get, they don't get along too much. It's like our mom and then our dad's mom. And then we're gonna try to yeah. get. I'm gonna try to get them together, even though they're separate. And then we'll say we're gonna kill both Mother's Days with one stone here. Yeah. They'll be like, I don't, I don't know about that. And I'll be like, let's get together at the same time. Then we can do it all at once. Say that, say that Mother's Day song. What? Yeah, right. What Mother's Day song? Stone. Stone to get the Mother's Day. Who for one Mother's Day stone? <laughs> yeah, their their mothers are the birds. Yeah, go take them to see Infinity Stones. How about that? And throw stones at our mothers for Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah. What do you? You're at Paldo World. I mean, uh, a Robox. Don't have a robot. Royal Royal, Royal Box Restaurant. What's that? Well, no, you didn't go there. Royal Box. You never been to Royal Box? What is it? No. It's a restaurant. That's where we always go. Where? It's on in Lakewood. Nope. You, where is it? You've never been there? I go there with the grandma all the time. Never been there. You know what Royal Box is, Grandma? Mm. She doesn't know. Yeah, she doesn't know, but it's like the uh it's like on the way to it's like you take the gravelly lake drive exit. You know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I know gravelly, like, right. Where, where are you eating? Okay, we depart. Now we're here. Okay, bye. Bye.
Or Dan Dobler is trying to call. Hello, Dan Dobler. Good, it's Saturday. I know. Uh, I'm just calling to say hi. It's a nice day outside. I know. Yeah, are you going to get out there? Uh, I, I, was, I was out there, but I, I, I'm in bed. I, I'm, I'm in resting bed. Oh, well, that's good. It's good to rest. That's why I don't like the sun too much. You can take it easy to stay inside when it's warm out. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you have a calendar? A cal? A calendar. Uh, what do you mean? Like a calendar. It's like a, a book. You write your days in it. It's got days. No. No. Me neither. I need to get one though. I don't know where I should get it. Maybe the dollar store. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You you like the dollar store? I don't have one. Yeah. I think they sell them. I think they sell them at the dollar store, maybe. I don't know if they sell them in the middle of the year, though. I, I, I don't need one. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to know. I need to, these numbers because I'm confused about the numbers on the program right now. Uh, I'll call you later. All right, bye. All right, making the calls, making the calls. Here, let's check some of this tape stuff. Let's look some of this tape stuff. 2000, uh... 16, we'll look at 2016, and then I'm to try to call Mr. Gintsu, even though he didn't call us, because it's, I think he might be there today. Call Mr. Gintsu when he's there. Sometimes he's not there. I think today it might be not one of those times. We're trying to get people to call in, in 2016. Non-stop shenanigan, boy, I tell ya. Yeah, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, okay. This is on the phone. Um, and we're... Yeah, whenever we want shit on a call, we'll squeeze it in. Oh my god, here we go. I don't know, was that before his back was better? I don't know when his back, when the, like the status of his back had changed. Here's 2017. Oh, I'm just doing a little Alright, bye future. Bye. Hi, future. It's us of the past. Hi, past. Me, Mr. Gintu. Yeah, Mr. Hey, Kenny. Yeah. Every year. Yeah, huh? Mr. Gintu's back. We haven't talked to you in a long time, Mr. Gintu, and uh, that's it for the future. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. The future. Mr. Gintu's back last year, and he was there the year before, so he will be there again today. Three years in a row, Mr. Ginsu. Maybe. Uh huh. Hello. 
Mr. Ginsu. What are you doing? Uh, I'm sitting on the couch. Sitting on the couch? Mm hmm. Eating. <laughs> I'm eating. Yeah. Uh, I can tell your mouth pie hole full. Stuffing my pie hole. Like pie hole full. Stuffing my pie hole. Yes, you are sticking your pie hole. What do you always say? But I haven't had pie in a long time. Perfect timing. Yeah. Oh, Why, you got out of work? No. What? You're eating, you're eating pie. No, I'm not eating pie. I haven't had pie in a long time. You eat a lot of pie? Uh, is that a confession? Um... I, of sorts, I guess it could, everything's... I pie in a long time. Not even pizza pie? I had pizza, but I don't call it pizza pie. I don't really understand that all the way. A pizza pie. I yeah, I just call it pizza. Or maybe There's a name for it. It's a pizza pie. Or maybe just za. I just call it a za. Get some za. Uh, it's a deep, deep, deep dish. Pizza yeah, pie. yeah, deep dish pizza pie is like Chicago style. I'm not sure about that, but it's a deep dish thin crust. Deep dish? Mm. You can't have deep dish and thin crust. And more like a pie. Have you ever been to Chicago? I've made a pizza pie before. Yeah, you been to Chicago? No. Yeah, me neither. But they got a. Uh, I did used to work at Pizza Hut. Oh, you did, yeah, and you had the deep dish? I made them. Which one, on the west side? I'm not saying. Oh, yeah, but, it, well, you can tell if it, I mean, Thurston County, they're probably uh, long gone. Well, fucking whatever, fucking, I'm not saying. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Because there was the one in Lacey and the one on the west side, and there's one in Tumwater, too. Okay. But I think the one in Tumwater is gone. Maybe. I don't know. I know the Lacey, well, the Lacey one moved, and then the original one, they moved, first they moved to Pizza Taco Bell, now it's Taco Bell and Pizza Hut, which is kind of just like Taco Bell with also self-serve pizzas. Taco Hut? Yeah, the only thing that makes them Pizza Hut is that they have self-serve pizzas on top of their tacos, and that's like the only thing that makes them get the, the whole thing, but they put it on their sign, Pizza Hut. Oh. Even though all they have are these little self-serve pizzas. Self-serve pizzas, huh? Yeah, or like self, like single-serving pizzas, you know? Personal pan pizza. They, they got a personal pizza. And that makes it a... Personal pan pizza, that's what it's strictly called. Yeah, and I, th I think that's all they have. And then that gives them the right to put a Pizza Hut slash Pizza Hut on the sign. Yeah. They don't, they don't have regular pizza. Mm. At the Taco Bell, at the Pizza Hut Taco Bell. You know where they moved? It? You know that big Albertsons is still there. Remember, have you, when was the last time you went yeah, to third? Yeah. It's the same taste. It should be the same taste, though, because they use the same ingredients to yeah. make the original pan pizzas. But, they would, uh, yeah. Pizzas. So, so you see the sign. You see the Taco Bell Pizza Hut sign. You go there, and you're like, well, I just want a pizza. And they're like, well, we only have these little pizzas. And you're like, well, what kind of, what, why is that? You got a whole, whole Pizza Hut sign. You know? When was, well, let them ride. when was the last time you went to uh, Thurston County? Uh, that's a good question. It's been uh, a while? Yeah. Because <laughs> you were here for a long time. Walking in. Yeah. But you don't have any reason to come back here. Do you have friends in Thurston County still? I came back freaking... Six months ago or something. Oh, yeah? You got friends here still? Yeah. They have cable? Pardon me? Your friends have cable? You tell them to watch the show? Do they have cable? Yeah. I don't know what they have. Uh, uh, tell them to watch the show. I, w I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to say. Is there are things that give places away. 
What are you doing? Table. Huh? What are you doing? I'm fucking sitting here. I just freaking smoke a bowl of weed. Uh huh. Freaking rip. I'm ripped. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Rip the last story. Didn't you go to the doctor? Don't they don't like? Didn't you go to the doctor for like a work-related injury recently? I don't know. Like you had that heart I attack. You you had the heart attack. Um, you like hurt your hand they or something. Yeah, but that was like you. So you had to go to the doctor, and that was because you hurt yourself. Like you hurt your hand or something at, at work, right? I don't know. So, I I know I know what happened. You you hurt yourself at work, and then you had to go to the doctor. They told you you had a heart attack, but didn't they test for your for weed and stuff when you go to the doctor from your work? Of course they did. But you didn't get it? Didn't what? Red, it didn't register that you had been smoking weed? Because you're not supposed to smoke weed. Right? I, I did what I told you I was going to do. Right? What? That thing I do. Oh, you have a thing? And fucking, I do that, and then... I go over there freaking and give them all the pee they want and fuck off, man. It, it worked? It works? Of course it works. Oh, well, good. You have a way. That's why I got the job in the first place. You have a system. I do what I freaking do. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, so now what, you're, are you watching TV or you're just sitting in the chair like looking at the wall, looking at the ants or something maybe? Pardon me? Yeah, the answer is still here. I, I got them prowled up in the one spot right now because I put out a pile of meat, so. <laughs> yeah, are you watching them? They know where to freaking go. There's a lot of them. They know where to go, and they don't have to run around looking for it. They said, hey, fucking check that out. There's a big pile over there. Fuck off. What kind of meat is don't it? Where else. Huh? What kind of meat is it? Hamburger. <laughs> You just put it on the floor? Just like someday I'll be their hamburger. You just put it on the floor? big hamburger. You just put it on the floor? No, I put it on the kitchen counter. And they're coming out to eat it on the counter? Yeah. How much of it have they gotten? Uh, a lot. <laughs> put it that way. You think they're going to finish it off before it goes bad? Uh, they'll have it finished off by tomorrow. Like, how much did you put on there? Uh, half ounce to an ounce. So just like a, not that much. Not that much. Like a bite. But there's a shit ton of ants. They're yeah. little, they're like little, little. Mm. Sugar, sugar ants. They call, they call them They're like three, three grains of sand and maybe two grains of sand. They call them sugar ants. And some of them are a little bit bigger, three grains of sand. Yeah. But most of them is little. They're all on the... It's, it's neat, kind of neat to watch them make barriers and blockades and make it to where everybody has an easy way of finding... Whatever. You're watching them. Yeah, I sit there. They run around, they'll lay down. And whenever they lay down, they lay down flat. Like, you can't even freaking hardly see them. Mm hmm. Just flat. Why are, they, why are they laying down? Pardon? Well, why are they laying down? That's it. Well, that's because they're making a barrier so that um, an ant can't go that way. Oh. They want to stop them. And they, they go that, keep going, but go that other way. <laughs> All right? Don't go this way. It's freaking wasting your time. They're making a barrier for themselves, right. out of themselves. And he's somewhere near what they want fucking to get. Yeah. So. Yeah, eating. Eating, uh. And or. He wants a barrier built right there, too, and so another hand will go there and grab some shit and start bringing it over there and start building a barrier. Yeah, you know how they act. Okay. You know how they behave now. 
I do, I do. I know a lot about them. You're the king of the ants. All you do is sit there and watch the ants, huh? Yeah, well, they don't talk back. Yeah, they're friends. Well, they do, kind of. I can could, I could smell the, the little fucking thing that they throw out there. What? I can smell ants. <laughs> yeah, you know what they smell like now? Yeah. Probably smelling like rotten. There's enough of them. You're probably, they, yeah. They smell like vinegar. Ew. I think you're just smelling uh, rotten stuff. Like... You're just smelling rotten stuff. No. Well, maybe. Maybe it's the piss. Piss and vinegar. Yeah. That's, they, ants for you. that's probably, it is probably that. They probably take all that stuff and probably gets a little bit rotten. That's that little trail they gotta leave behind so that they know where to go, right? Oh yeah, but the whole the whole place is a trail now. Well, some of it is, some of it ain't. Ugh. But most mostly they know to stay out of my walking areas because you don't see any in the real walking areas. But, but they're they're just like they call go up the walls. And yeah, picking the corners. So it's like your walls are moving all the time. You could say that. I probably, uh, my walls are probably packed full. Oh. <clears throat> you have a day off? <clears throat> you have a day yep. off today? Yep, yep. Are you gonna, uh, did you get your mother a Mother's Day gift? For the Mother's Day coming up? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Great. Whatever. No, I didn't. Maybe I will. <laughs> I got you now. I got to show you. Yeah, now that I told you about it. That's right. Fucking, <laughs> what the hell? Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, please be one. I got enough time. Yeah, you can still go. You can only go. one something. You can go today when you have the day off. Mm hmm. Like the whole motherfucking day off. Yeah. Well, it was a storm came up. Boy, it was. Then you could see the dust coming, freaking thirty mile an hour, forty mile an hour. It was just coming. What windstorm? Yeah, the winds and lightning, a bunch of lightning too. It was, oh. a, it was a windstorm, and there was so much dust in it. I had to run back in the house. Oh yeah. So, like, like, yeah, I was getting dust in my eyes and shit. I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm way ahead of the fucking storm. I'm still getting dusted out. Yeah, it's dry, oh, huh? Hopefully we don't have another dry <laughs> spell. Last year we had a really dry spell and there was a lot of fires. Uh, well, I'm not sure it was necessarily that dry or anything. It just it picked up a lot of dust from where it was dry, I guess. Yeah. Dust but, storms. You live in the woods, though, right? Yeah. There's still a dust storm even though you're in the woods? That's a uh, dumb and dusty and dusty. Dusty. Yeah, I don't know where all that dust is coming from. Oh. Dirt. Dusty dirt. Well, Anywhere it can find dirt. Yeah. Oh, Pasture lands. I was looking at these messages, and um, you've been on the program every day on this day of the, of the year for three, this is the third year in a row. This is the third year in a row you've been stuffing your pile on this day? No, that you're on the tape, that you're on the tape. That you're what? You broke up right in the middle of that. You're on the message to the future tape for three years in a row, so we'll make it a four, or a three. Three. You were on it for two years in a row. I'm gonna make it three years in a row today. Right now, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna record the message of the future. It'll be your. Uh, maybe we don't. Huh? And maybe we don't. Let's say we don't, and you just do all the talking. Well, I'll do some of the talking. You're gonna be on. You're gonna be on for three years in a row. Frick! How the hell am I gonna freaking top that? There's not much to top of last year. I said, what are you doing? He said, bye. I just took a big hit. Uh, so. <laughs> Fuck.
fuck, dude. Oh, that's great. Maybe I'll take another big hit. Where's your freaking joint I got? I got a new joint. Hey, future, it's us the past. M Mr. Ginsu, it's your third year. I just took a hit, you know. We all rip. Bye, future. Are yeah, bye, future. What, you still got a can? Nope, I got a joint. Mm. You get a uh, uh, pre roll? I roll my own. Oh, yeah, because you roll cigarettes all the time anyway. Yeah, yeah. They got a lot of stores. Oh, There's so many stores. I like they got a lot of stores around where you are. That's what I hear. Cause there's like, there's like, on Martin Way, like on the way out there, there's like five stores, like within like three blocks. Right the fuck down. I don't know what how the, the fuck. How can they all stay in business? There's so many stores. Yeah, that's kind of freaking on the Sucksville side there. Why? Um, because you got so much competition. So that's good for me, for the, or that's good for the consumer. Well, see, it's, god dang, how many fucking McDonald's do you need on the same fucking block, motherfucker? Well, usually the McDonald's are, are every, like, neighborhood has their own McDonald's. But with this, they're okay, all... Okay, so if you got five, five McDonald's on the same block, and how much motherfucking money... Why don't you just have one McDonald's on that block? Well... See, part of the thing is, I fucking live fucking 70 miles from fucking where, and I gotta go where to get the fucking shit? Why don't you have one closer to me, please? It's more like... But so that fucking... I, I don't gotta go to the place that has five fucking dispensaries on one block because... There's one closer to me. Yeah, but they got... Does, does that make any sense? Right next to each other, they got McDonald's and Wendy's. Yeah. McDonald's we, and Wendy's and Arby's, though, you know? You got five of them on one block. Yeah, because you, the fucking people out there are saying, no, we don't want it in our neighborhood. Yeah, they have, a, they have it zoned. If you got a church, you can have a goddamn dis marijuana dispensary freaking place. Oh, yeah, you were upset about that. They said that they can't have a marijuana dispensary place within, like, how many, far from a church or something, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. fuck off. Religion has ruined my life. Mm -hmm. Marijuana has made it to where it's not, it's less miserable that religion ruined my life. Yeah. Religion being only totally part of it. I get that. However, it's a big, big, fucking, big, big part of it. Oh, yeah. And it fucking big, big fucking sucks. Wouldn't that be a good present for your, uh, for your mother? To just and just because a lot of very nice people go to church. Because I used to go to church, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Believe fucking you, motherfucking me, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you, motherfuckers at church, motherfuckers. Hey, fuck off. What'd you, you do? You fucking need to put dispensaries further apart even if you say oh not in my neighborhood shut the fuck up you fucking got other businesses in your neighborhood you got a gas station in your neighborhood you can get gas right yeah you want that to be hand handy to get to easy to get to well fucking marijuana should be the same way just freaking what the hell yeah it's kind of like everything but they can't yeah. have, they can't have like bars. Sometimes they got five gas stations on one little fucking place. Yeah. Fucking, holy hell. Makes it hard for everybody and everybody to make money. Yep. Uh, Although I guess they do have, it's been done before and they'll just do it to put up with it. They'll fucking make money and cause they will make money. Yeah, people will go to, them, people will go to them. Oh. They'd spread out, they'd make more money. Yeah, people go you to think. them. People go to them, though. 
getting to them is the hard part, see. Yeah. A lot of people have transportation problems. Uh, yeah. And if it's closer, you could talk somebody into driving you 15 miles. But going 30 miles, like, hey, fuck you, I ain't gonna drive you all that fucking wind. You probably ain't even got money for gas and shit. Yeah. Fuck Ride the bus. They'd say that. What a pain in the ass. And that's just a lot of fucking time and effort. It's just a fucking pain in the ass being out in the world trying to get a ticket for jaywalking or something. <laughs> yeah. and trying to get hit by a car or something because you're out and about, you know? So you think that people... Making more traffic. People shouldn't go out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe they should stay home. Yeah, yeah. Stay home, people. But, Leave me alone. I just wish they'd make it easier for people to trying to do it properly. Yeah. But you're you're. Maybe I need to jump into the fray. You're far away from um. It goes down. You're very far away from even like a grocery store, though, right? You need to speak into the mic instead of talking outside of your neck. You're, of you're pretty far away from even like a grocery store. I'm pretty, pretty far. Yeah, so you, you don't have anything. And, uh, you, how far, I mean, how long does it take you to go to work? Oh, 45 minutes, an hour. What? Every day? Depending on, it, depends on, it all depends on traffic. Sometimes more traffic. Left that's so Seems far. Like that's weird. I'm not that's far. long. That's yeah, it takes a while. That's real long every day. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not like being in Seattle. Fuck. Yo, fucking. I know people that used to go I-5 four hours every day. Some of them went I-5 six hours every day. And at the end traffic every fucking day to go to work and back home. Like, like one way or both ways? Well, I would imagine that sometimes one way, sometimes both ways. Yeah, you might as well just sleep in your car and stay at work. It was almost to that point. They get to go home for a few hours, but, uh... But if you do that... Get up, yeah, if, you're, back. You, if you... If your drive takes five hours one way and takes ten hours total, then you work for eight hours. That means you're like driving home, going to sleep, then driving back. Right. So you might as well sleep. You should just, they should just they like, sleep there. They, like they just move way away. Yeah. They should just get a little like a uh, bunk beds at their work and just sleep in the back. <laughs> oh. oh, I think most of it was because every time they got off work, it like it was five o'clock. And you know what happens at 5 o'clock on I-5, right? Yeah. It shuts fucking down, pretty much. Yeah, they shouldn't, uh, people, people are doing that still. They should just, uh, spread it out. One of, uh, everybody works at the same time. They should spread it out. All those companies, all those computer companies, there's no reason for them to work at the same time. They should, they should, uh, they should all get together and, uh, like, uh, stagger when they get off of work. You know? It's like Microsoft and Amazon say, Microsoft, you get off at, half of Microsoft gets off at 4, then 5, and then Amazon gets off at 6 and 7. Right. Yeah. But they all want to get off at 5. They all get off at 5. What are they doing? What are all these people doing that they can get off at, at the same time? Like, what kind of work could they even be doing that's, that's like, not, like, time sensitive? All businesses are started early in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. It's like, what are they doing though? You know, business. I go till five o'clock at night. Yeah, but what are they? What are they doing that they can do during those hours? Like, what do people even work? Like, what's their work? What's work? Yeah, what are they doing? I mean, because if you're like doing work, then your work is time sensitive. Like, on it's like, what time do you need to be doing this work? It's like one of the other people around. Like when your customers are around, yeah, or like people, some, some people's work's more time sensitive than others. Yeah, but what different, are the what are contracts uh -huh. for different time periods? Yeah, but maybe, like, maybe these people have a lengthy time contract, which means they ain't time sensitive. 
So you think they're all construction people? I just don't know what all these people who are who are working nine to five what they even do. Well, they go do a lot of paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. They're still doing um, paperwork. They're like writing down paper. I, just, I don't understand paperwork. I guess that's what I'm. You know. Paperwork's very freaking annoying for most people who are active people. Yeah. If you're not active, you can consider the desk and look at the paperwork and do a lot of reading. Yeah. Um, well, what is the, what, what, a lot of legal jar, legal jargon, which means <laughs> you're in a contract once you sign fucking your name to that dotted line, see? Yeah. That's what signing your name to your dotted line is, is you're into a contract with them. Yeah. What is paperwork, though? What are they, you know, what's like, what are you doing? You got papers? You're writing, filling out these papers? Keeping track of customers. Like, on the paper? What they want. When they want it. Where they want it. Yeah. How much? How much? How much they owe? How much fucking money? Where, where the money's coming from? You gotta fucking know, you know the banker now? They know the banker too. Yeah. I they don't get know. talk to the banker all the time. I don't know what they do. Money people anyway. Yeah. And then there's just the every day, hey, you want to have a party? We need money for the party. Let's go use somebody who needs to go over there and get the money from the banker. We'll have our party. How much, like, I just don't understand, like, how, how, how many people need to be doing that stuff? And how long could it possibly take? They're probably Shoe doing stores. Yeah. Shoe stores. Clothing stores. Oh, are they close at five? Restaurant. What about them? Boat stores. Boat. There we go. Boat. Boat stores. Fishing tackle shops. Yeah. All the fishing tackle shops open early in the morning. Yeah, they People close... want to go fishing and they stop by the fishing tackle shop early in the morning. And then they close at five. Have fresh, have fresh bait. Mm hmm. They close at five? Pardon me? They close at five fishing fishing shops? Oh, it, fishing shops are different. Yeah. They don't necessarily open or close at any certain time necessarily. Maybe 11 o'clock at night, they probably close. Or at dusk, maybe after whenever it's time to stop fishing or something. All right. Well, we're getting down to only three minutes left today. Yeah, if you can't, you can't be fishing, the shop ain't open. Yeah. yeah. That's not necessarily open for a uh, live bait, anyway. I don't think, I've never been to a, they got, they got fish, sh uh, tackle, tackle shops, they call them. Pardon me? Where do tackle they, shop. they yep. raise the worms, how long do worms live? Long time, you feed them. Yeah, you fed the. You, you, yeah. If you had them, you feed them. They live a long, long time. I used to own, have me a bunch of worms, night crawlers. Yeah, but are you sure like they're the same worms, or are they like having babies or something? No, they have babies and shit. You ever seen a worm have sex? Uh, no, have you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't they do that underground? And then, I'm not going to say how they do it, because I don't want people going and getting them. You don't want people getting worms? No, um, leave the worm, let the worm do whatever they freaking want to do. Uh, yeah. They live underground. <laughs> Whoa, why are you watching worms? You you grew, were well, you growing worms so you, so you could fish? Because you were in a fishing for a while, right? I was going to use them for fishing, I was going to grow a bunch of them for freaking make fertilizer and sell yeah. them for fishing. Yeah. I had some big ass freaking worms, but the whole thing freaking fell apart and just let them go freaking so they freaking do their own thing. You, the, your, your, thing wor yeah. your worm business fell, fell apart? I uh, was that was a part to pain the ass. I wasn't around enough. Were you selling? You were just using them for yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not trying to like sell them. Yeah. How Worms hard? Can be tasty. What? How hard is it? You, you ate them? 
I've eaten worm before. Why? Why? Why not? As because a, it's freaking as a freaking people out. As a joke? Yeah, more like. Yeah, that's uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, you think they're food? They like taste people swallow like goldfish or something. You like the, as long as you fucking squeeze all the dirt out of them, right? Yeah. And squeeze the dirt out and take the slime off pretty much the same time. And, uh, Tastes like meat. Chew them up. And they taste more like a steak than yeah. anything. Yeah. Why don't you eat them? You could eat them again. Now that you live off of beans, you can eat worms. I might, I might do that. They I, they say that the worms they're 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 growing those uh, mule worms. That's the next food source. I'm more the type of person I'd take a worm and take it off the road when it's all raining and throw it back in the freaking uh, grass. Yeah, instead of eating it, show's over. Instead of stepping on it, worms are stupid. They freaking crawl out whenever it's raining. They crawl out fucking yeah. on the sidewalks and shit. I think they have no brains. The show's over. It's Saturday. Well, they got a brain, but the brain. We're on TCTV, channel 22, and 132 here. Buddy, it should be on dot com. 3608364384. Call leave a message. Get on TV. Alright. Okay, I lost you. Yeah, we're still here. 109 State yeah, Avenue, number three. Check it out. I almost hung up on you. Well, it's the show's over. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. How many seconds to go? TC TV, La Bebe, Jordan E. Fabulous, Graham Graham, South Carolina Con, Drum Lifter, Thurston County, yeah, Washington yeah, State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, that's you, you're watching. Thank you. Almost hell yeah, dog. Right yeah. here. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, dog. There you go. I'm just coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Bye. All right, take off, hoses.